to, to feed ourselves. So let me know, what are you growing in here? Right now we have a variety of vegetables. We do have kale, we have coriander, we have zucchini, we have uh, eggplants, we have green peppers, and what else do we have? We have okra. It's really uh, a favorite among our you, locals. You didn't mention we have mangoes. Oh. In, a, <laughs> in this country, since I came, two things that I found in this country is mango and cattle. See, there you go. See, I mean, I don't have to look far. <laughs> everywhere. Ma mangoes everywhere. Greetings, people. I'm on for. I show for anything for viewers and subscribers, you know. I'd agree to you. If you're boy the righteous messenger way, I'd represent or I'd pass through once again. And I'm a man for forget everything. The truth must be told, you know. Um, Wodemaya, the biggest Ghanaian YouTuber, continues his journey or his story, you know. He's trying to tell or retell the story of Africa in a positive light and he's still in South Sudan you know I do follow his videos and this time he talks to one 28 year old lady yeah who left America to go to South Sudan you know to farm you know and today she she has or she has a farm on 19 acres of land a month for at the back make we go pop the video come we come out uh, yeah we will come continue talk what we get talk i mean can you believe that this farm right here belongs to a young woman who lived in america and she decided to leave america and then come here to be a farmer. I know some of you might think that something is really wrong with her. But hey, we need to talk to her and find out if something is really wrong with her. You know what? Maya, this oh. is where we pump our water oh. right from the Nile, as you can see. You know, we got a generator and our piping system that pushes the water straight to the garden. Amazing. Yeah. So which means you don't even have to pay for water. We don't have to pay for the water. See, this is what makes Africa blessed. You but know? it's not being portrayed out there. All the narrative that is out there is about war-torn Africa. Africa devastated by diseases and poverty and hunger and all those kind of stuff. And that's why I want people like you to help me change the narrative. You don't think I need to help you get a YouTube channel? I would love that. What will you call your channel? Uh, that is still in the making. You, you know what? There's going to be a description. Uh, uh, uh. There's going to be a channel link in the description. We don't have an, any idea of the name that we're going to call the channel, but I know that gonna have a channel right here so hey do me a favor go to your description box go click on it go to your youtube channel go and subscribe and tell her that what Maya told you to subscribe thank you so much you know what yeah i'm walking barefooted because i want to connect with nature in here you know it feels so good to be back again in the farm yes. but i just want to ask you how does it feel to be a farmer that is a very interesting question maya you know there's something really therapeutic as you would say about being a farmer and just being out in the nature connecting with mother earth you know it is very therapeutic and then also as a farmer really to see the hard work of your hands you know being able to feed other people when you plant your seed until all the way and nurture it all the way to selling it it, it gives you a sense of fulfillment you know and then also you're really contributing directly towards problems in the in the in the country problems in the economy in africa yes. we tend to say that um, farmers are supposed to be poor but i don't think you're poor I think uh, the idea of poverty is a mindset. Thank you. It is a mindset. You don't, poverty is, is something that you actually, you're taught, you know, you're taught you can do anything to improve your life and you don't have to do the normal things that are, or the status quo that people teach you that you have to go to school and become a doctor, become an engineer to become rich. Wealth, you can create it from anything, oh from the passion goodness. that you ha that you have. Oh you know, you just need you just need a plan, a passion, and you can become you can have all C that you can want. Can I hug you? <laughs> can I hug you, please? Come. I feel like you spoke from the soul, and Thank you. it really touched me. Mm. I mean, growing up in Africa, mm. we're told to go to school. Yes. 
get married, mm -hmm. get a job, mm -hmm. and that's it. Mm -hmm. Build your house, have your cars, you've made it in life, mm -hmm. right? You have so many young Africans out there who think like that. Mm -hmm. For Based on your experience, do you think there's something wrong with our education system? I would actually say there is something uh, concretely wrong with our education system. But that's why I want to give my message to every young African out there. Dare to be different. Dare not to follow the path or the ways that everybody is follow. You can be different and carve your way out and still make a living and be happy and make an impact. You know, you can do that. You can do that. How many people have you employed in here? I do employ uh, 12 people, but we also do have uh, volunteers who come through the training process. Training process? Yes, so we do. Train. Uh, right now we have seven acres, but we are really working to expanding it very soon. That is our goal. We really want to increase our production and expand our, our acres. Is this the only farm that you got or you got a, another farm that I know nothing about? Uh, we do have another, uh, another farm in Uganda. That is where my entire agriculture journey started. Wow. Yes. And how many acres are those? Uh, those are 12 acres. So 12 plus 7 is like 19 acres. I don't I, I mean, forgive my manners. Can you tell me how old you are? <laughs> yes. I am 28 years. Whoa! Are you kidding me? I am 28 years. Yo, we, we have so many young Africans out there. What is your final message to Africans out there? My final message to Af continental Africans, Africans in the country, again, like I said, dare and challenge to be different. You don't have to follow the path that everybody follows. You know, you can be different, carve your way out of life and still make a great impact in the country and in the, in the continent. For my African brothers and sisters in the diaspora, I am actually telling you that you are welcome to come back home. Come back home to Africa and experience it yourself. You know, you should not focus so much on the, uh, on the portrayal of the media, of the Africa um, that they are showing you. The Africa we are in today is growing. It is developing. Come and see it for yourself. There's so many opportunities that you can get and that you can make a living out of. So please do come. We are here. We are living evidence that it can be done right here in Africa. That you also, if you want to come, we are here to give you the tools and the guidance so that you can also start your journey. So you're welcome. Come back and taste Africa for yourself. I, I'm really lack of what? <laughs> you see the video beautiful story beautiful video you know and once again from the biggest Ghanaian or african youtuber with over 700 thousand subscribers matching on to 800 yeah and i would also like to you know congratulate this young lady for such an achievement you know at a, a young age 28 years old and a mom for look at what she has already achieved you know through her own hard work and dedication so slay queens you, you, you they see you they see say you know you know for it depend on no one to make it in life you know to be successful in life you know you don't have to depend on no one you go feel breakthrough by yourself through hard work dedication consistency good planning and most of all like me righteous messenger i talk all the time enjoying the process that's why you must do what you like doing and that thing you know can be so rewarding to you in the future if you know you keep doing it and developing yourselves I'm on for forget everything the truth must be told you know some people will say oh you need capital to you know begin business of course you need capital who whoever talks you don't need capital to do something worthwhile yes you need capital but the thing be say you don't need huge amounts you know you need small capital to start something small you know cut your coat according to your size start something small take small steps little by little a month for who knows what you are doing can explode 
out of proportion to the extent that even you cannot manage or control it then you get the third parties in you know people come in and start helping you you know start taking part in, you know controlling other you know sections of what you're doing I'm for what well, the team be say child people they talk the hard work work hard you must work hard but they don't understand the meaning of this hard work do you really mean no or understand what it means to work hard I'm on for some people through you know hard work go through sleepless nights to achieve their goals or to become successful that is what it means to work hard you know some people would you know even go hungry just to save the money to create that small capital so they can start something that is working hard that is good planning i'm on for you know some people they quit or even reduce habits you know when they really help them just to you know get that money to put down to save get the capital you know and do something for yourself i'm on for that we the talk charlie God no go drop manna from the sky. That is a fairy tale story I'm on for. You have to decide for yourself. I want to do this. Take the steps little by little. Chale, you know be joke say you go buy night t shirt with them right for top say just do it too. And if the talk say just do it, you know they mean say just go do any foolish thing. Just do it. What would you know bring meaning to your life? what will make your life successful what will give you an easy life to the extent that you, you will feel live comfortably provide for yourself and your families that be what it mean by working hard and good planning consistency and dedication it not be something where you just they talk then they take them lightly with a pinch of salt it goes deep a mouthful to succeed Many a time you have to deny yourself of most things. I'm on for things where they do when you know, they contribute to your goals or what you want to achieve in life. No point. Forget it. Everything you do should be dedicated, should, should, be, should be rooted or directed to making that achievement or progress that you want to do in your life. I'm on for and this story from Woody Maya on the 20 year old 28 year old girl coming down from America to South Sudan to start a farming and she has 19 acres of farmland a month for serves as an inspiration to young Africans not even only young Africans young people everywhere all over the world you have to take your own life into your hands the truth must be told yeah and take it or leave it I'm for most successful people child people with the make them for life will talk you say what are they talk be true you know at least from the beginning Charlie you must fight hard anyway I'm on for make I talk about agriculture small because you know that was the main point you know of focus in the video and to me you know once again what the woman or the 20 year old 28 year old lady they talk be true we have to grow what we eat a man for you know and agriculture is one of the most important professions in this world everywhere you go a man for if if we don't farm and produce crops and you know food for ourselves then no one will have anything to eat and everyone will starve you know but the thing is say if from where are they come from because i say most city folks or like you know people growing up in the cities you know especially where i come from for africa they they look down on farmers you know because farmers are portrayed in a way say it's like you know poor villages within the farm 
that be the idea you know you know all the picture that they paint or we have of a farmer a man for at the lie at the beg comment forget everything the truth must be told hmm I'm on for look over me the time I dig I be so where they think you know but you see say would the Maya they go a step further they they show us through this ladies initiative how rewarding agriculture can be on for look at the beautiful story you know how attractive agriculture can be everything the truth must be told and before I end, I go talk say Charlie. I go love say this is my opinion on one education system. You know, you must think of more of vocational and trade. You know, institutes. You know, for God, child people they fight say they won't go university. You finish university, ah, Charlie. You don't know what you go take your life do, self. No skill. You know, only a few. Like the doctors and the lawyers go graduate and come out with you know you no know, ready to, to to go into their profession even with law and and and, and, and you no know, medical you know education you don't come from uni and go straight and start practicing you need to go to law school you need to go to medical school it takes a long route a man for so to me, you know, the country or the people in charge of the education system will think more vocational and trade institutes because with this, already you know what you are going to do before you come out, or before you finish either the school or that type of education. And you finish, uh, even if you know, won't go, won't go work for somebody, I go, if you work for yourself, start any money straight away. Man for at the beg leave comments, like, you know, share as well, and if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. If you avoid the righteous messenger, where I can pass through once again. And I'm for, thank you for viewing the video, and you know we will crush for the next video. Peace, bye.